Okay, welcome third graders to the chapter 11 mid chapter checkpoint instructional video. We're going to be going uh, over page 477 and 478. Okay, the distance around a figure. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, the example we've used in class, the fence. So if you just want to know around a figure, you're going to use perimeter. The measure of the number of unit squares needed to cover a figure with no gaps or overlaps is the area. This is the inside part. The measure of the the measure of the number of unit squares needed to cover a figure with no gaps or overlaps is the square unit. No, I think that is the area. Okay. Find the perimeter of the figure. Each unit is one centimeter. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve square centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve square centimeters. Find the unknown side. Okay, let's see. Okay, G is the variable. G is the unknown side. We know the whole thing is 33. We did have a lesson on this already up to this point. So let's see, 10 and 10 is 20. Six and four is 10. Let's see, that is 30. We know the whole thing is 33. So what's the difference between 30 and 33? We know that G equals three. Because then if you added three, that would get you 33 which is needed to cover the entire length. Okay, the whole thing is 32. Let's see, 12 and 12 is 24. We know the whole thing is 32, so I'm gonna find the difference between 24 and 32, which is eight. I have two sides, they're both equal length, and the total has to be eight. So if that's four and that's four, that's both equal, and the total is eight, that should work. So K equals eight feet. All right, number seven, find the area of the figure. Each unit is one square meter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 square meters. I think up here, these should be square centimeters too. The book might have messed up there. Number eight. Let's see. We have a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a three by ten is 30 square meters because I used length times height or width times height as my formula for area. Now I could have just counted the squares like I did for some of these other ones, but sometimes the quicker way to do it is to know the formula and just to go three times 10. Okay, we're on page 478 now. Ramona is making a lid for her rectangular jewelry box. The jewelry box has a side of six and four centimeters. What is the area of the lid Ramona is making? Okay, let's make sure we're using complete sentences here. The area of the lid Ramona is making is it doesn't say explain so i'm gonna use my width 
times height formula. So 6 times 4, 4 is the height, 6 is the width. The area is 24 square centimeters. The area of the lid Ramona making is 24 square centimeters. Adrian is decorating a square picture frame. Okay, so we know it's a square, so all the sides are going to be the same. She glued 36 inches of ribbon around the edge of the picture frame. What is the length of each side? So we have 36 all together. Shared among four sides is, let's see, what times four equals 36? Six, no. Seven times four, no. 9 times 4, 9 times 4 equals 36. So each side is 9. Now you could double check that. Let's see, 9, 9, 9, 9. Two sides would be 18. You have your other side, 18. And that's going to give you 36. So you can kind of add to double check your work there. Margo will sweep a room. A diagram of the floor that she needs to sweep is shown at the right. What is the area of the floor? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is a two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a two by eight. So this whole thing is 16 this piece. This rectangular is 16. So 16 plus 5 is 21 plus 6 is 27. Does it does it say that these are meters or anything? No. Okay. So 27. Jeff is making a poster for a car wash for the uh, camp out club. What is the perimeter of the poster? Three plus one plus three plus one over here. So as I write down the numbers here, oops, as I write down the numbers here, I'm crossing them off here so that I can keep track of, of what numbers I've written down. Let's see, four, four, so the whole thing is eight. The perimeter of the poster is eight feet. And I need a complete sentence up here, too. I got lazy. Margo will sweep the room. What is the area of the floor? The area of the floor is 27. I'll make sure I did a complete sentence up there, just like I did there, okay? Even Mr. Pasafume forgets to do complete sentences. A rectangle has two sides of eighth length and two What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Okay, we're going to just make a shape here. It doesn't need to be perfect. It has two sides of eight and two sides of ten. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Okay, so we have ten and ten, which is twenty. Eight and eight, which is sixteen. So it is thirty-six inches. Okay, so the perimeter of the rectangle is 36 inches. Oops, got cut off. Oh, no, there you go. Okay, all right, that is the chapter 11 mid-chapter checkpoint instructional video. Hopefully that helps you um, correct your work.
you have any questions, feel free to contact me.